continuing to react to our extraordinary story about arming teachers and school staff. We took you inside this controversial training with an exclusive story last night. It showed you teachers and the superintendent of a school working side by side with law enforcement to take down an active shooter inside a school. Rich Daffy is here now with thoughts from some local officials. Rich, I'm interested in hearing this. Rob, this is a real hot button issue. Last night we showed you the training and the powerful impact it has had on the participants. The issue is one that every school district will have to deal with on an individual basis. We wanted to know what the reaction to training like this would be in our immediate area. So we took the story to the Hamilton County Sheriff and a veteran police officer who now oversees the Cincinnati Public Schools safety program. Hamilton County Sheriff Jim Neal watched our story intently along with Major Charlene McGuffey. The sheriff's reaction to the idea of teachers and school administrators being trained to meet force with force in their own schools was clear and immediate. I'm in support of this training. I'm in support of this program. Briefly retired from law enforcement before becoming sheriff, Neal actually worked as a part-time teacher. While he didn't carry his duty weapon with him in school, it was always close. Your first line of defense, folks, is you. This is a fine example of teachers and uh, school administrators that want to take a stand against violence and, and be prepared to protect themselves and the people under their care. It's, it's, it's long overdue. Our story focused on teachers and administrators going through active shooter training in their own school. They are trained by instructors from the Tactical Defense Institute and it's paid for by the Buckeye Firearms Foundation. Everyone has a concealed carry license and has been through an intensive program. We also showed the story to the safety program coordinator for Cincinnati Public Schools. We don't advocate right now teachers being armed in our buildings. We, we leave that to the experts. We train our staff how to respond and how to safeguard these kids. Cincinnati Public is rather unique. There is one armed Cincinnati police resource officer in uniform in each high school. There are no SROs in the middle or elementary schools, but they do have unarmed security teams. CPS officials also periodically use metal detectors on students. Classrooms have phones and offices have locked down and emergency 911 buttons. Down believes that thanks to location, in an emergency, law enforcement could quickly saturate a scene with officers. Yes, I understand time is critical, but uh, we feel we have the best system right now uh, for such a, if such a horrific event happens in one of our buildings. The likelihood of something happening is going to be when we're not there. So they have a line of defense until we can get there to support them. You know, the troops are coming, folks, but we might not be there when the uh, conflict starts. It's important to point out here that virtually all the school shootings have involved suburban schools, not city schools like Cincinnati Public. Most of the people that we spoke with agree that response time, which is critical in rural or suburban school systems, would be much longer than what you could expect in a city school. Eight or nine minutes has actually become the standard. Dan Down thinks that Cincinnati police would be on the scene in just three or four minutes. Rob? Let's hope they don't have to. Rich, thanks very much. There are many different ways to look at this issue, of course, and if you're a parent, student, or affiliated with a school system in any way, we're very interested in hearing from you. Join the discussion on our Facebook page. We may even contact you to take part in a future story. On both Facebook and Twitter, we're asking the question, should teachers and administrators be trained and allowed to carry guns in schools? So far, about 70% of you are in favor of that idea. Join the discussion.